Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Earlier this morning, Ubiquity released Unify Protect application 2.11.21 that brought us some new AI detections as well as vehicle classifications and we could also put some other languages. This release is still in release candidate. So if you wanna add this to your protect system, you need to go to your settings and you need to switch the release channel. We're not gonna read through this list. I'm gonna show you what the changes were and how they have affected the system. So let's jump right into it. We're now now sitting in the system settings of my UMBR Pro and you could tell right off the bat we now have dark mode for our Unify Protect and this has been a long time coming so it will save your eyes if you don't like the light mode. They've also added this language section. I speak English, but they do add some other languages to this. Now let's take a look at another improvement, which is under our detection settings. So if I click on detections, we could see now that we could do animal detection. So this will pick up cats dogs, cows, sheep, horse, deer, and bear. Right now we only have a rabbit on here and we have a couple dogs. So let me look at the rabbit first. You'd see that it is detecting it by my car and now let's take a look at one of the dogs. So you can see as this person's walking by, it is highlighting the dogs for us, which is really great. And you may also be able to tell under the detections, we now have this audio setting. And this will work with your G4, G5, and AI that have mics. So with the G4 and the G5, it will pick up babies crying. With the AI series, it will be doing speaking, car horn, car alarm, glass breakage, and barking. It also looks like it picks up sirens as well. You could tell by this thumbnail that it looks like there's a little police icon there. So let's click on it and listen to the audio. And we could hear there that it sounds like it's an ambulance or a police siren going by, so that's really nice to have. We could also see that we have this little picture of a dog barking. Let's click on it and see if it is a dog. And you could hear that there was a dog barking in there. Now, another quality of life feature that's been brought to the Unify Protect application is our event filtering and vehicle color classification. So if we click on our vehicle and we go over to the filtering, we can now see that we could choose a color. So if I click on blue, this should only bring up blue cars. And you could see right here that it is only bringing up blue cars. If we click on the filter again, we could scroll down and then go to vehicle type. We could do bike, SUV, sedan, or truck. I'm gonna uncheck the color blue and then we'll look at the trucks. So clicking on the truck should only bring up trucks. And we could see that we had a couple fire trucks down on my street and we could scroll down some more. We could see a bus and then we could see a FedEx. A couple things under our playback, they've added highlights of our detections right inside of our timeline. So we could see here that there was a car passing and then below there was another car passing. Another thing that they've done, they've added a heat map directly to this. So we could click on the heat map and it's gonna show us where cars or people have been walking. And that's gonna be it for this quick video on the Unify Protect application 2.11.21. And I'm really glad they added all of these quality of life features. The vehicle classification, the animal detection is probably my favorite feature. Let me know down below what you like best out of this new release. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.